What is up, awesome peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. I hope you're having an amazing day, and if this is your first time stopping by, well, then hello, and we are very happy to have you. Also, if you have been here before, in that case, welcome back. Today we are reviewing the Aosteer Motor S18. This full suspension fat tire electric bike has a curvy frame that not only looks super groovy, but it also makes the S18 more approachable thanks to that swooping top tube. The standover height here is only 33 inches, and that makes getting on and off the bike that much easier. The S18 has a starting price of $1599 USD, $1599 USD, and that comes in one frame size and one color, this matte black that you see here. But what's cool is that Aosteer Motor has different versions of this bike with different motor sizes and color options. So if this one feels like it might be too powerful for you or not powerful enough, there's probably a version that's just right. And we'll leave links to each of those different versions in the written review, which we'll drop in the description below. All right, let's dive into the specs. The S18 has a powerful 750 watt unbranded hub motor that drives this e-bike to a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Now, we struggled a bit to get it past 25 miles per hour without pedaling, but that's not uncommon with fat tire e-bikes like this one. Four inches of tread means there's tons of traction and even some extra suspension, but it also means there's a ton of rolling resistance to overcome. Nonetheless, with 750 watts of power, the S18 is going to be able to climb most moderate hills pretty easily. Now, you can reach that top speed of 28 miles per hour by using the cadence sensing pedal assist or the half grip twist throttle. Like all cadence sensors, this one has some latency with motor activation and deactivation, but that's not really an issue for the S18. For one, the latency can be overcome with throttle and brake levers which are equipped with motor inhibitors. But more than that, it comes down to the fact that the S18's philosophy of use is more for an urban setting. I mean, look, sure it has fat tires and an aggressive looking frame, but at the end of the day, this is less of an e-mountain bike than it is a comfy decked out city cruiser. And for that purpose, a cadence sensor works perfectly well. The battery is sandwiched between the top and bottom tubes and is housed inside a locking removable case which has a carbon fiber style finish that looks super dope. The battery is a 48 volt 11.6 amp hour system with a max estimated range of nearly 40 miles. And interestingly, there are two keyholes on this battery, one for locking and unlocking it from the frame and another to turn the electrical system on. This is a great safety feature that keeps curious passersby from turning on your e-bike. The S18 has mechanical disc brakes with a 180 millimeter rotor in the front and a 160 millimeter rotor in the rear. Now, with an e-bike that has a potential top speed of 28 miles per hour, it'd be great to see hydraulic disc brakes here, or at least 180 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. The stopping power on the S18 is adequate, but if we could upgrade one component on this ride, this would be it. The derailleur on the S18 is a Shimano Tourney with a 7-speed cassette and a Shimano SIS index thumb shifter. While the Tourney is considered an entry-level component, it's still a tried-and-true workhorse of a derailleur. And again, since the S18 is really geared for casual city riding, it feels like the right choice here. The S18 also has a metal bracket to protect the derailleur from getting damaged. And while this is an often overlooked piece of gear, it can really come in handy and we're happy that Aosteer Motor included it. In the front, we've got a pair of zoom suspension with approximately 80 millimeters of travel, preload adjust, and lockers, which means you can fine tune them to your liking. And in the rear, we've got another spring suspension with around 45 millimeters of travel. The suspension adds a layer of cushiness to the S18, and it really helps to smooth out the ride and just make it overall more enjoyable. And look, while we're pushing this as a pavement pounder with the full suspension setup and fat tires, it'll still fare pretty well on light trails. Speaking of fat tires, the S18 has a 26 inch by 4 inch Chao Yangs, which add another layer of suspension thanks to their huge air volume. And if you do end up taking the S18 through mud, sand, gravel, or snow, that 4 inch tire patch is really going to help you stay afloat. The S18 also has an integrated headlight and taillight, which draw power from the electrical system, so as long as you've got juice in the tank, you've also got light. The headlight and taillight are another great safety feature on the S18, and they help to increase your visibility to others. Still though, for those of you who plan on hitting the trails under the moonlight, we recommend getting an aftermarket lamp with at least 2,000 lumens of output. Wire management on the S18 is good, with everything wrapped up nice and tight, and the main bundle being fed through a channel on the top tube. 
The grayscale display is located in the middle of the handlebars, and thankfully it is super easy to read even in direct sunlight. Huge brownie points for that. The independent button pad is on the left side of the handlebars, and the half grip twist throttle and the shifter are on the right. The grips here are flat and rubberized, but they don't have any lockers, and we found that they spun around pretty easily during our testing. Overall, the S18 is an incredibly comfortable urban commuter with an aggressive vibe and a unique curvy frame and battery case. The motor is powerful enough to chug up some pretty steep hills, and the top speed is high enough to keep up with most traffic on side streets. But more than anything, it just looks cool. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the Aos Steer Motor S18. Now, let's take it out for a ride. <laughs>